Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about application of empirical rule. So, I will share my computer screen with you. In a recent survey of 655 working adults, the average weekly amount spent on lunch was $44.60, with standard deviation of $2.81. The weekly amounts are well shaped in distribution. Estimate the percentage of amounts that were less than 41.79. Estimate the percentage of amounts that were greater than 50.22. And part C, estimate the percentage between 44.60 and 47.41. So we will get started by creating some space for us. So okay, and then go to this. My bell chip at distribution. My mean is uh, my mean is uh, forty four point six zero. So this is the center. Mu is equal to forty four point six zero, and my standard deviation is two point eight one cents. 2.81. Okay, so this is the Bell Shepherd distribution, normal distribution for the my amount spent on lunch. So the first thing we will do is calculate mu minus sigma, which is 44.60 minus 2.81, and that is equal to 47. 47.79. That is equal to 41.79. Similarly, mu plus sigma is equal to 44.60 plus 2.81, which is equal to 1.4. Forty seven point four one. All right. Yes. So the first question estimate the amounts that were less than forty one point seven nine. So uh, let's also so uh, according to so part A according to empirical rule to empirical rule. Sixty eight percent of the data will fall within one standard deviation of the mean, one standard deviation of the mean. or between 41.79 and 47.41, okay? So, That means thirty hundred minus sixty eight is equal to thirty two percent of the data 
will fall below forty one point seven nine and forty seven point four one. Since the bell shaped distribution is symmetric, distribution is symmetric. Therefore, therefore. Thirty-two divided by two is equal to sixteen percent of the data will fall below forty-one point seven nine cents. Okay, so that is part A. Okay. Now we have to solve part B. Estimate the percentage of amounts that were greater than 50.22. So, 50.22. So, part B. Part B. Sigma is 2.81, right? So three times sigma will be three times 2.81, which is equal to three, three eighths of 24, 8.43. So if I do mu plus three sigma, I get, 44.60 plus 8.43, which is equal to 310.53.03. Okay. But we are interested in the amount greater than 50.22. Okay. So let's do two sigma. So two, 2 sigma is equal to 2 times 2.81 is equal to 265.62. So mu plus 2 sigma is equal to 44.60 plus 5.62, which is equal to... Uh, Two, two, and then fifty point two two. So in part B, they're asking estimate the percentage of the amount that will be greater than fifty point two two. Also, in this uh, respect, we can calculate mu minus two sigma, which is forty four point six zero minus five point six two, which is equal to eight. Seven and six is uh, nine thirty-eight point nine ten. So according to empirical rule, empirical rule, approximately ninety-five percent of the data or the data will fall will fall between 38.98 and 
And hundred minus ninety five is equal to five percent of the data will fall will fall above fifty point two two and below thirty eight point nine eight. Again, because of symmetry in the normal curve, that means the left half is equal to the right half because of the symmetry of the normal curve. Five divided by two is equal to 2.5% of the data will be above. 50.22. Okay. Okay. The part C. Part C. So let's write it over here. Between 44.60 and 46.41. Okay. Now, let's uh, okay. So, let's uh, try to get some space. So let's it. Uh, so remember our mean is forty four point. So if I draw it over here, in between. So our mean is mu is forty four point six zero, and our sigma is uh, two point eight one. Eight one. Okay. Actually, it is between. So I'll correct this while I'm at here. Like that. This one. So I want to correct that, and then I want to go back. Forty-seven point four one. So uh, we know mu plus sigma is equal to forty-four point six zero plus two point eight one is equal to forty-seven point four one. Okay, and mu minus sigma is forty-four point six zero minus two point eight one, which is equal to uh, equal to forty one point seven nine. So, according to empirical rule, empirical rule approximately six. Let's write it over here. Approximately 68% of the data will fall between 47.4, between 41.79 and 47.41. So, because, so <clears throat> remember, 44.60 uh, will be on this side. And 47.41 will be on this side. Okay. Of the mean, this is the mean. Okay. So this is total distance area between 41.60 and 
and 44.41.79 and 44.41.79 and 47.41. So this distance is 61.7. So I should uh, correct this. Uh, this is, so let me correct. The mean is, uh, as I said, is 44.60. That's your mean. And if I correct this part, uh, hmm. mu is 44.60 and sigma. Sigma is equal to 2.81, right? And these two limits are, this one is 41.79, and this one over here. This one is 47.4. So, so 68% of the data is between 41.79 and 47.41. So because of symmetry, because of symmetry in the normal curve, in the normal curve. Normal curve, 68 divided by two is equal to 34% of the data will be between, will be between, will be between between forty four points between forty four point six zero, which is the mean, and forty seven point four one and forty seven point four one. Okay. Okay. So let me erase this a little bit. Oops, so then I'm not doing that. Okay, go back to my screen. So I just wanted to. Okay, and then I go back to this. So again, bottom line, 68% between 41.79 and 47.41. But because of symmetry, 34% or 68 divided by 2 is 34% will be between 44.60 and 47.41. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can always write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you, please, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And let your friends know about my video so that they can subscribe to my channel. You can also subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. And I will see you next time with another problem, another solution. See you. Bye.